is Zan Birthday Guest Central Click in this video and sign to watch me. Today we are here with the Miraculous Special Action. It is technically episode 27 of season 5. It is not like is canon, but it is not like in the order of things happening. Basically, from my understanding, this is like a PSA, PSA about like plastic waste, which is awesome. I'm very excited to learn this. I tried to like get the vibe down here with some like tie-dye colors going on. Hopefully we got that at the fit check. <laughs> but keep in mind guys, if you want to see my full uncut reactions to Miraculous, or of course we're going to be starting Avatar very soon. Avatar The Last Airbender, just so we're clear. <laughs> we're going to be watching that instead of Miraculous, since Miraculous is now all caught up. We will be watching the uh, Shady Bug special, all that stuff when the English dub comes out. So don't worry, calm down. But I'm excited to watch so without further oh. Do it. Let's get started. Everything okay, Nino? We came as soon as we got your message. Adrian is giving me my first tamarind lesson. Uh, I mean, Mandarin lesson. Oh, cute. We're going to need your help, Adrian. Uh, all right, what can I do? First, I've got to tell you why we're here. As you know, the Seine is a river. Its current acts like a conveyor belt, carrying anything that falls in it out mm. to the ocean, mm. including plastic waste. I can't believe that there is so much plastic in the sand. We've converted the houseboat into an ecological water treatment plant. That's probably taking a lot of power though. Did we consider that? Don't you sass me. This morning, the situation suddenly got worse. If this keeps up, my houseboat will sink. Yeah, seriously. We've detected a large increase of plastic waste in the sand, all from the same item. Same item? What do you mean? Paris City Hall decided to install vending machines everywhere in order to sell these. Mm -hmm. It's so hot out! <laughs> Look at these adorable ham fans! They're kind of cute fans though. Like, let's be honest though, they look really cute. If if you reuse them, not so bad. But if people are not reusing them, that's a problem. Oh, oh no. Oh, you crazy work problem. This is why we need you, buddy. These fans are a major eco-disaster. You have to talk to your old man. I don't know the statistic off the top of my head, but I do know it, it's like a, it's a crazy statistic. Uh, do look it up, but it's like 80% of like water, plastic water bottles in the US are litter, like trash, not recycled. It's, it's really, really, really bad. I can't stress that enough. That's one of the worst ones. And it's also one of the ones that can really endanger animals along with the, um, like the six pack containers for pop, the little ringlets. Also another really bad one. Um, I love this PCA so far. I wish we could get some more numbers in there. I, I am aware that there is like an actual like learning guide that goes with this episode. So that way it can be used in classrooms, actually used as a um, functional teaching method to help educate everybody about it which is really great and also the other really bad thing about like plastic water bottles is that the uh carbon monoxide that is used to make them is also atrocious which goes into most other plastic products as well it's bad it's really really bad so i can't recommend enough you know get yourself some nice metal water bottles you know don't don't just don't buy like those 24 packs of water don't do it. It's bad. It's really bad. Like, yes, having one every once in a while is not bad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna banish you. But like, you know, just get yourself a water bottle. It's also nice just having water everywhere you go, honestly. You know, I, I like this is like a 24 ounce bottle and this lasts me about like four hours in a day. Like morning, I fill it again, you go for it. And then I, I keep mine for like a year or two, as long as I'm cleaning them. Don't get lipstick all over them. As I do. <laughs> you know how my father is? He won't listen to me. What if we tried to solve this another way? By going straight to the root of the problem. Oh. 10 boxes of plastic macaron trays, 20 boxes of plastic cake decorations, 100 boxes of plastic pastry labels, and last but not least, 10,000 plastic bags. Oh, okay, Dad, we're on it. Ooh. Oh. oh. You okay physically, but also like in general. <laughs> and the 10,000 plastic candy bags for the Dupin Chang Bakery. It's all here. Thank you, sir. Uh, oh, excuse me, sir. Would it be possible for us to meet your boss? Mr. Bertrand King, the king of plastics. The king of plastics. 
Let's recap. While the delivery team distracts the guards, the cleaning team will go in through the service <laughs> entrance. We've been discovered! Oh, yes, I love that we are now hiring child labor. That's great! It's you on the fans, isn't it? Oh? Uh, yes, it is him, Adrian Agress, here to discuss new advertising campaign for the Morpho fans. Right. We're his personal team of delivery and cleaning people. Uh huh. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Very well, but first. <laughs> can I get an autograph? Aww, that's adorable. This episode's fun, I like it. We know how useful the invention of plastic has been. It was made because it's strong, but also light, and it doesn't cost a lot of money to make. The real problem is that too much plastic is being made, yeah. and that most items are only used once before being thrown yeah. away. Products such as plastic bags, wrappers. And your Morpho fans. The other problem is plastic gets into the thing that you're eating and drinking. That's why it's not good to reuse those plastic water bottles. It's the wonderful cycle of throwing away and buying again that makes my fortune. If yeah. people didn't throw away and buy new items again, then I, Bertrand King, would no longer be the king of plastic. So, uh -huh. there is no way any of this is changed. We need a better alternative to them. And the more plastic invades the world day after day, the more I, Bertrand King, king of plastic, become rich. Mm -hmm. If I could, I'd be plastic myself. Oh. Plastic is fantastic. Oh, wow. I can see where this is going now. Removing the vending machines installed by City Hall across Paris would make it possible to reduce pollution. But it would be very damaging to my image. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is before he was out of power. Good to know. These fans are only a trend, a way to keep the Gabriel brand thriving. They will disappear as soon as the heat wave is over. Hmm. Oh, the damages they caused to the environment will remain for several yeah. centuries. Yeah, think of um those Garfield phones that ended up in like the ocean. <laughs> those last forever. The Morpho fan designed by Gabriel is a must-have accessory to fight the heat. Oh. It's about to start. Doing? 12 more seconds. Oh, they're gonna protest. <laughs> oh hey, they were there too. That's fun. Just the news. Now we're good. This month of Are you June, the TV era. station? Uh oh. Sorry to interrupt your TV news. We're talking about plastic pollution. And if nothing is done, there will soon be more plastic than fish in our oceans. And you're gonna goddamn recycle. These fans could be made out of bamboo, like this one. It's so beautiful that you want to keep it forever. Oh my god, Adrian! Have the power to implement environmentally sustainable oh. solutions, for the world of tomorrow is built by the choices we all make today. Okay, you could have told him there was a better choice. Yes, it'd be more expensive, but... I solicited many reactions. Naturally, I was not aware of this. But as soon as I was informed, I'm I had every Morpho fan machine removed from Paris. That I had no idea that my talent would be misappropriated by a polluting company. In the coming oh. days, we will be tracking the progress of this anti-plastic revolution. Aww. Good job, everyone. You do realize I'll be rude. <laughs> You'll simply be less rich. You'll just get used to it. I'll tell everyone you knew that these fans were polluting. Go ahead. No one will believe you. I know. Oh my God. I can't miss out on such a great opportunity. This is the last time we're going to see him transform. This is so sad. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they went all out this transformation. <laughs> We don't normally get a full transformation like that, so that was really cool. I want to see his design. Does it just look like his statue? Ooh. I like the pen flicker, like different color implemented into his design. It's really fun. You no longer believe in the goodness of plastic and money, do you? Bertrand? From now on, you may call me King of Plastic. And let me remind you how plastic is fantastic. If you want, I can immediately reinstall your plastic fan oh machine. God. That won't be necessary. This city doesn't need a useless mayor. What it needs is a king of plastic. Oh. <laughs> plastic oh. is fantastic. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's so scary. You just turned to plastic? I hate this one. That's terrifying. How no cheap. That's still not it, is it? That was almost it. Your hello was perfect. But remember, the last syllable of miss has a falling tone. New shit. 
No shit. Oh. Really Was that so bad I triggered lightning? I think it's adorable that like Adrian and Marinette are like studying Mandarin. I think that's really cute. I love that. And it's a nice little like tidbit to add into this episode just to help not only make it like an action, you know, PSA about plastic, but also to be like, hey, like, you know, we should learn about other languages, you know, having this really nice overall vibe going on of just like how to be a more mindful individual. And so I love that. I love it a lot. I promised my father that I'd go home at any sign of trouble. Will you be okay? Yeah, don't worry. I've got to review my Mandarin. <laughs> okay, see you later then. <laughs> They're so cute. There's no time to waste. The sooner Candle War saves Paris, the sooner Adrian can get back to Marinette. And the sooner I can eat Cannabis. Yep, true. Oh, I'm getting so bittersweet watching this. Like, it's going to be like a year, you know? Well, not a year. We have the special. But, you know, I just I'm gave me like, giving them a little sad, you know? Couldn't we have, like, you know, couldn't we have Cat Noir get, like, a big bag of plastic and then this cataclysm it? Isn't that the best way to get rid of plastic waste? Feels like he's not trying hard enough. Oh. Oh, no. Nothing will stop the rain of plastic. Oh. Uh, the yellow is a nice color. Huh? Oh. Ladybug, is everything okay? That you would have like your head may break open, but bare minimum you got like head trauma after a fall like that. Hey! Oh, Plasticized my staff! Plasticized. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Did you want to take revenge on Gabriel Grest? He probably has more than one enemy. Tell me Gabriel's not going to get away with this stuff again. I hope he actually, like, gets in trouble, like, a little bit. Especially since he didn't get his comeuppance in the finale. Plastic? A plastic bag? This superpower has quite a sense of humor! That actually is really funny. I like that a lot. Oh. At least it can't be turned into plastic! Yeah. Because it's already plastic! Good thinking, Cat Noir! We've got to get the houseboat's treatment system running again. But it'll cause the same problem as it did last time! The engine won't hold out, tell you. Only this time, Ladybug will fix everything. Hmm. Okay. I'm a little confused. Um, uh, is he gonna cataclysm the plastic? Cataclysm! Or the engine? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> He'll be buried under the very plastic he loves. How fitting. Of course, his thing stays on top, though. Oh, perfect. No more evil doing for you, Little Kuma. Bye bye, Little Bye bye. I don't know what. I know what I was trying to say. It just didn't come. This is disgusting. Aren't you gonna help me? This is exactly what millions of sea animals are going through around the world. And they don't always have superheroes to offer a helping hand and save them. Okay. Maybe plastic isn't always so fantastic. Oh, what took you so long, idiot? I think I hadn't realized until now what plastic pollution really is. Oh, his charm is really cute. Down in yeah! Miraculous Ladybug! Okay. Will he actually follow through, though? That's the question. Factory tycoon Bertrand King, known for being the king of plastic, has financed the repair of the houseboat, which has cleaned the sin of all the plastic waste that was polluting it. I am going to know who with disposable plastic. I don't want to be responsible for the problem anymore. I want to be part of the solution. Wow. Now that our daughter has made us aware of the issue, we use wooden stirrers, wheat straw cups, and cloth bags. Aww. The school kids at the root of this tremendous awareness raising campaign have succeeded in creating a worldwide movement. This is absolutely miraculous. Aw, cute, hell yeah, our little water bottles, let's go. 
All right. So before we kind of get into talking about this episode, I think it's really interesting to talk about the actual um, module kit that comes with this episode because the episode's whole point is to be used in like educating, teaching youth. Um, it's mainly for ages like seven to 11, they kind of recommend. Just helping to educate children about plastic waste. Uh, it comes in five different modules and the start of each module, I believe, or at least the intro uh, is done by a character from the show, which I think is really fun. Uh, but basically it kind of goes into like the history of plastic, journey of plastic, impact of plastic, kind of understanding uh, the benefits of plastic and why it was used because obviously it is useful. It's just <laughs> when we use it in these products that is meant to be thrown away, discarded, not recyclable, that's when it becomes a problem. And then we kind of go in the module two, uh, module two that goes into reduce, reuse, recycle, which obviously all of that's lovely. Innovation and creativity kind of STEM, uh, myth mythology, <laughs> I can't speak, uh, but STEM for students to innovate solutions to our plastic crisis, which I think is fun. I think that's a really good idea, uh, especially something that I think I even talked about in this episode that I wish they had more um, ideas kind of to give people like, oh yeah, like we have the bamboo fans with paper. I like that and I'm very glad that there is like a module in this that kind of talks about it. And then it kind of goes into the fourth one about youth empowerment and leadership, which is especially important because as children grow up, if they are aware of this problem, they are the ones who will be able to ultimately help change it as they get older and lobby against. Um, youth is our power. They're the ones who can change things and we need to start, of course, making things for the better for them. I know um, the green movement is going and moving, but you know, it's a lot of old people in our legislation, especially here in the US, where uh, they don't want to change things. So, you know, <laughs> the youth are the ones who are coming up to vote. So them being aware of problems and being like, mm, is good. <laughs> And then the fifth one is um, being an advocate against plastic, which, you know, create a plastic focused environmental campaign to spread awareness of the damage of plastic. So overall, I feel like this is really good. Um, I feel like definitely something that is digestible, especially for the age range of like seven to 11. I feel like they did a good job without kind of like heavy handing anything in the episode. Um, I don't think they ever like made anyone feel bad about what they were doing. And I think that's really important when we think about um, how they kind of talked to Marinette's father and kind of reacted. No one really said much, but it kind of all, they're like, ooh, your dad Marinette uses a lot of stuff that's plastic which I mean is ultimately true and I'm glad that they kind of put in here why plastic can be useful you know keep food fresh it's used in a lot of medical devices I appreciated that that was added in because again plastic is not bad it is the misuse of plastic it's the fact that so much of it ends up in the ocean because it is not recycled or cannot be recycled. And that's where our problems become. Um, and a lot of it ends up in our trash as well, which is not great. So I feel like this episode did a really good job of helping to educate while also being just a fun episode to watch. Um, genuinely getting to see our characters, you know, take on this initiative to uh, get the word out was really nice. I know they've already done it a few other times. Um, they've really made Miraculous into this very eco-friendly show and how they're trying to be on the cups of, you know, innovation and very much a uh, advanced society. Like they're, they're having the new school in the new season, which will be interesting to see. Um, 
they've also, you know, gone away with the alliance rings, melted them down, reused those, all that stuff. So it's been fun and interesting to kind of see them implement this into the show and now have this, um, you know, public service announcement episode. I actually liked King Plastic. I think he's kind of fun. He definitely has that very like, ho, 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 I'm the villain type of feel, which yes, goofy, so goofy, but I do like it. <laughs> it really just like implements the whole fact of like, he is a bad man who doesn't care. Like he's not using plastic to like help society. He is literally being like, I want people to throw it away and buy again and keep, you know, the system going. Like they made it very clear that like he's a bad guy with bad intentions, which I appreciate. Uh, again, plastic is not bad. It is that we use it because it is a cheap product. So we care less about it. So we don't get rid of it the way we should. <laughs> So overall, really good episode. I liked it. Um, if anybody's out there who is an educator, uh, I definitely recommend showing this to your students. And I will make sure to put the link down below as well to the actual video on YouTube, which also has the link to the um, Plastic Change Makers Education that you can use their little program as well to um, educate our youth and help them understand why Maybe you don't need to buy that 26 pack of water bottles when you could just buy a nice, nice metal water bottle and put your little stickers on it like I'm going to. <laughs> Decorate them. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Uh, again, we're going to be watching Avatar the Last Airbender soon. That'll be replacing our Tuesday weekly series since Miraculous will be done for a while. We will be watching the Miraculous um, Multiverse Shitty Bug Claw, Claw, Claw Noir, whatever it is. <laughs> We're going to be watching that whenever the dub comes out. I think at least it premieres late in October. I don't know when the dub will be out, though. So we'll see. But I will watch that when it comes out. So thank you guys so much for watching this with me. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all later. Bye! <laughs>